I'm not gonna lie guys, uh, I can technically have my own car meet. I, well, I'm literally having my own car meet right now. It's, it's kind of ridiculous just seeing this. <laughs> you know, I always said that I'd stop making YouTube videos once I finally got my silver play button. And then as if the timing couldn't have been any better, I recently got an opportunity to go back to doing something I truly enjoy. And so with no silver play button in sight, I started working on the script for my last YouTube video. And then, like some astronomical sign from the universe, this thing showed up at my front door. More on this thing later. Yep, you guys heard me right. As much as I love making video for you guys, deep down YouTube, was always really just a hobby for me. A way for me to express and share all the crazy car ideas that flow through my mind on a daily basis. But this new job that I just recently got takes up a lot, a lot of time. And to be honest with you guys, the only little bit of time off I do get, I wanna fully dedicate to my family. So this will be my last YouTube video for the foreseeable future. Now that doesn't mean I won't continue to modify and even finish all of my projects. It just means I won't be uploading on a consistent basis and you guys are gonna miss out on a lot of like the little intricate little mods and the little step-by-step -step how to stuff. All that stuff is pretty much gonna go away. So that brings me to the reason that each and every car that I currently own is here today. Today, I'm gonna to be bringing out each individual car front and center for two reasons. The first reason is to show you guys the car's current state for the last time that you guys will be seeing these cars. And the second reason is to discuss what the future plans for these cars moving forward will be. The first car I wanna talk about is my personal favorite and that's the FHP crown vic it's a 2004 marty tuned p71 with a custom built cold air intake excel coil packs and cobra injectors now it's currently about 95 percent fully built to where i want it however future plans for it include installing a gun rack on the prisoner partition and a police trunk pack cosmetically i do have to get the front windshield replaced because it has this big ass crack on it and the old faded FHP paint job desperately needs to be restored. So this will be the current state that you guys will last see this car in. Next up is a car that's been slowly growing on me more and more each day. And that's my 1996 Chevy Caprice 9C1 with the 5.7 liter LT1 engine. Could you believe I actually had this car up for sale just a few months ago for 1500 bucks and no one wanted to buy it? God, that was like a slap in the face, man. You know what? At the end of the day, I'm glad they didn't because boy, do I have big plans for this car. For starters, I'll be giving it a new black and white paint job similar to this Caprice on the screen. I'll also be giving it an Impala SS front grille along with a rear deck lid spoiler and OG 9C1 police center caps. Equipment wise, I plan on doing a full retro 90s cop car interior with period accurate police equipment as well. As it stands, this car will be having most of my attention as far as mods go for this year. Now. Next up is a car that needs no introduction, and that's the can shift equipped Cobra Roush Crown Vic. Tribute car, it's a tribute car, relax. This is yet another car that's gonna be heavy on the mods list. Some of which are darker window tints, Lincoln Town Car interior trim swap, a full coilover suspension, front dual racing seats along with a row cage not to mention beefed up suspension components and braking hardware cosmetically the only thing the car needs is the 
new driver's side fender some jackass backed up into me at a supermarket and did well this so take one last look boys at mr random's cobra roush crown vic tribute car next up is one of the most hated panther cars on the internet and that's the one and only hobo cop 2 i mean would you just look at it it's a purple love child between a Mercury Marauder and a P-71 that I'm slowly building into a Baja car. As far as modifications go, this car by far will be one of the funnest builds out of the whole bunch. Along with finishing up the paint job, mods will include a roof rack with Baja lights, rear jerry can rack, an off-road jack, a pre-runner front push bar with a skid plate, and a small lift along with bigger off-road tires and also finishing the functional snorkel intake the hobo cop 2 will most likely be the first car i give an update on a few months from now now next up is the latest addition to my fleet and that's my 2015 ford explorer xlt all-wheel drive I decided to go with the civilian version of the Explorer, not only for the creature comforts that it has over the FPIU, but mainly for the third row seating option. Initially, the car already came fully murdered out in all black, so at that point, I decided to give it a quote unquote unmarked FPIU look, which included doing a roof rack delete along with outside channel rain guards that i actually uh, ordered they're actually on the way but you guys won't see me install those and also the fpiu rims that i'll be installing soon that are currently on my mustang gt now this being my main family commute car that's as far as the modifications will go and speaking of mustang gt and yes it is a mustang gt i put a v6 badge on there to troll people and boy <laughs> It's, I love it. I love it. But man, th this car has gone through so many looks. As you can see, it's currently mad maxed out. But eventually, I'll be swapping out. But eventually, I'll be swapping out the rims with the Ford Explorer. Currently, this car will be the last to receive any further modifications. But eventually, I will do a GT500 front bumper conversion along with putting the rear bumper back on. Then a full drag tire setup will bring it all together before I eventually put it up for sale in exchange for a 2020 Ford Explorer ST. And so now that we have a before record of every car that I currently own, if you guys ever see anything from me again, it'll most likely be a full update on the Hobocop Bahavik. So actually next week, I'm gonna be buying another parts Vic that comes fully loaded with upgraded performance suspension parts for the Cobra Vic. All of those things will be combined for a future update video for this car. So will I be leaving YouTube forever? No, of course not. However, the upload frequency will be greatly affected to the point where you guys won't see or even hear from me for months at a time so to each and every person who made this thing right here possible thank you guys from the bottom of my heart the last six years i've spent on youtube has been an awesome chapter of my life and i'm and i'm proud to be a part of one of the freaking coolest car communities in the world and that is the panther car community but now a new chapter of my life begins and i and I honestly hope that each and every one of you guys not only understands, but has my back fully. So for the last time, until we meet again, it's your boy, Mr. Random, AKA the Kronvik Godfather, signing off for the last time. Be safe out there. Love every single one of you guys, man.